What's up, everyone? Well, with a lack of nerd block to open and no surprises in store, I decided to slide by the Dollarama here in Canada and see if I could find anything fun to play with. And lo and behold, I got these guys. I snagged the last four Guardians of the Galaxy grab bags that they had. So I figured we'd crack them open and see what's inside, and I can't wait to see that all four of them are exactly the same. So we can take a quick look at the packaging here. We've got a... kind of looks like a crying Groot that's not particularly well sculpted right in the front. That doesn't really bode well for this particular Yubi's figurine. So I guess they're finger puppets? There's a mystery inside. Which one will you get? This is the actual size of the item that we're going to receive. And on the back, they have them listed. So we have, of course, Rocket Raccoon, Star-Lord, Groot, Gamora, Drax, Nova Corpse, Ronin, Nebula, Rocket Raccoon, and Groot, and Milano. Milano being the ship, I would guess. It's been a while since I've seen it. Well, I hope we don't need a pair of scissors for these, although it is saying that we do. Well, true to their word, there is no getting in there without anything to cut it with. Luckily, as this is my workbench, that should just about do it. Let's see who we have first. We have Paper Man. No, Paper Man is probably not a real thing. Well, right off the bat, we have that lovely looking Groot and Rocket. Go ahead and tear into that. And just in case there's any question as to whether or not that is accurate in terms of how he looks, that, that, is, that is accurate in terms of how he looks. Uh, it looks okay. It's made of rubber, so it's pretty squishy. Uh, the separation of colors is okay. Uh, you can choose if you want to stick your finger up into Groot or into Rocket. The... The actual detail level is not bad. The teeth look a little off. They've gone with like a light wood for the teeth and a dark wood for their face and then black hole. But uh, overall, the sculpting on that isn't terrible. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Will we get another one? No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. It's the Revenge of Paper Man. Well, I'm going to say this one's different seeing as it's half the size. Oh, we have Star-Lord. Look at that, Star-Lord as I live and breathe. Let's get him out of the bag. He cannot breathe in there. Out he comes. And just like the other one, uh, made of rubber. The detail work looks okay. He's either got a dark finger or the paint here didn't turn out quite right. Um, yeah, it's not too, too bad. For what it is, um, just a little little bit of rubber, basically. He's fairly well detailed. His he's holding his gun there and his other gun, gun one and gun two, as he calls them. The uh, yeah, there's some scarring and stuff on the actual helmet. So unless this is supposed to be battle damaged, uh, I'm thinking that the actual manufacturing process for this isn't perfect. But hey, that's not too bad. We're two for two and getting original ones. Tearing into bag number three. That's an even smaller one, I think, so we should have another original one. Oh, there's a ship. Look at that. Let's see what the detail looks like on this. Ah, it's kind of shoddily painted, and the bad molding is really showing off on this one quite a bit. The, uh, front of the ship is not smooth at all. The details aren't terrible though, it looks looks alright. Um, just maybe rubber wasn't the best medium for this. And where the other ones are huge, I can jam my finger no problem in that. This one here, probably best suited for pinky. It's, it's pretty tight on my uh, ring finger there. Okay, well, we've got one finger left and we've got one bag left, so... This is probably the safest way to do this. At least those fingers are protected, right? I mean, that that's high-grade grade rubber. It's probably going to protect my fingers from getting cut. 
Will we get a duplicate? I think we did. I think we ended up with a second ship. Well, I don't know how necessary it is to tear into this one, but let's see if the sculpting problems go across both of them, or if that is unique to the first one. No, it's got its own set of different problems. You can see there the deformities. Let me see if I can't get that to focus a little bit better. So you can see the detail in the noses on here. It's completely different, and the molding just didn't pay off there. Um, each of them's got some sort of different bump on the front where the seam is. But the paintwork on them isn't terrible. The uh, the details on the top look all right. Fairly consistent between the two. Yeah, overall that's not terrible. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this look at these two starships, the Star-Lord and Emo-looking Groot. If you did, thumbs up. Let me know that you want to see more of this content. Uh, if you've got something else you want me to try and dig through and see if I can find it, let me know in the comments below. I'll see if I can get it. If you're new here, subscribe and click the bell so you get notified when I put out new content. And until next time, stay creative.